guys, so I had to like wake up really early for today and I'm so fucking exhausted. I am currently doing a day trip in Avignon. Yeah, actually it's like 9.30, but I had to wake up at like 6 to like leave my bags in luggage storage and then of course go to the train station to come here. I am so freaking exhausted. I am so tired. And I just bought this umbrella. I'm so happy because I went to a movie plea and the umbrella was 20 bucks or like 20 euros. And I was like, absolutely not. Like, I'm not gonna be paying 20 euros for an umbrella. Only for me to like go to the store right in front of it. And then of course I find a five euro umbrella. I was just so excited. I'm just so happy. stress as fuck okay don't know why but i'm just like really lethargic today i'm just not in the greatest mood i think it's because i started off like the day kind of wrong and that i kind of pissed off my couch surfing host when i woke up at like 6 a.m to like go to my train station and i guess i was like a little bit too loud for her she just seemed pissed off that i had to wake up early last night was actually my last night with her and then today i'm actually going to another guy's place so i just feel oh man i don't know i'm just like so scared that i started off my couch living experience on a bad foot that it's going to like ruin my chances what if she like gives me a really bad review so basically i'm left with a profile with a bad review on it which is going to jeopardize my chances of getting other cow strip experiences and i don't want this to like be my last especially because this is like literally my first one i'm just like yeah i'm kind of scared <laughs> I'm a bit uh, bored of Avignon. Maybe it's because I'm nostalgic or something, um, but I was just expecting a little bit more. I kept hearing about the Pont d'Avignon and how beautiful it was. I saw it and I was like, that's 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 a, the bridge that everyone's talking about? Cute, I guess. I think it's kind of a boring study. Oh my God. Oh my God, someone's gonna kill me for saying this, but I'm kind of bored. Maybe I should have gone with someone or like someone to like show me around the city to have a better experience. But as a solo traveler, I don't know. I think it's a beautiful city. I'm here for like a whole day. I have like four more hours and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do because I already saw the bridge from like afar and I have no interest in actually being on it. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I had a better experience here because obviously I don't want to trash talk any type of cities, but I'm kind of bored. No lie. Two hours later. Avignon is just not working for me. I'm like trying to like, you know, give myself a little bit more energy by just really admiring the scenery. But it's, I find it boring, guys. I'm just gonna say it, I find it boring. <laughs> Let me tell you something i think i'm gonna have a good time here i just feel like it's much more interesting of a city than avignon walking around i feel like it's much more varied i actually have less hours in them than i do in avignon because i completely forgot to wake up this morning and i woke up like way too late i actually missed my train this morning <laughs>
mistake that I spent eight hours, okay, eight hours in Avignon, but in Nîmes, I'm gonna have like four hours to visit here. Like even though like a lot of things are closed, it's still a much more interesting city to visit and to walk around than Avignon. I'm sorry, but Avignon, I was bored as hell, okay? I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe I have eight hours here. In Nîmes, I'm like, I cannot believe I have four hours here because I wish I had more, 10 times more. I'm really disappointed in my uh, terrible decision making skills and oh my god i feel like i'm constantly saying that i'm gonna have to come back to like every city but i'm gonna have to come back to Montpellier because Montpellier i've are severely underestimated i wish i had some more time in that city but also i wish i had more time in nim I completely missed the sunset unfortunately I literally came here just to see the sunset only to realize that the tower at the top which is like the panoramic view of the city is actually closed at like 4 30 around and uh, the sunsets at like 5 so I couldn't really see the sun setting up there actually I was supposed to leave at like 4 but I'm thinking of taking the 5 o'clock train Nim to me was so much more interesting than Avignon okay Avignon I spent way too much time there after like 3 hours I was like oh my god no 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 like I'm sorry but this city is just so boring and here in Nim, I feel like it's so much more interesting the streets are just much more varied you have like bigger streets you have smaller streets you have like alleyways and stuff I feel like the attraction also so is much more varied than in uh, Avignon. The bridge is the biggest attraction of that city as opposed to Nîmes where I feel like there's much more a variety of things to visit and see. So I'm actually really sad to be leaving after only like four hours in the city. I wish I had more time here. If you choose between Avignon and Nîmes, you go to Nîmes. And if you are going to visit both of these cities, a couple of hours in Avignon and then a lot more time, maybe double that time in, uh, in Nîmes. I I love it here. I think it's a beautiful city. Yeah. 